tourniquets. But not those bad boys you use to control catastrophic hemorrhage. Today I want to have a closer look at and test in the field uh, tourniquets you use to gain an IV access. I probably should mention that my least favorite device will be burnt to crisp with my powerful homemade flamethrower. But it's going to happen in 1 minute 50 seconds, so stay tuned. Let's roll the intro. Back in the day, I was a big fan of reusable tourniquets. Why? Because they are easy to put on and they give you this nice option of adjusting a pressure applied. <laughs> and they just look cool, don't they? That was up to the moment when I saw a research published by Dr. Nadia Osorio. She combined 20 different researchers from all across the world with combined sample of 1,500 tourniquets. And now she found out that the majority of tourniquets used in the peripheral vein puncture contains microbes which could put patient safety at risk. Contamination rates varied from 10 to 100% with coagulis negative staphylococci being the most commonly found microorganism. This research was published in 2018, so pre-COVID era. And now it is 2021 Covid is everywhere and we are still using reusable tourniquets. Please, let's stop it. Let's use single-use tourniquets. And to prove that I really mean it, I'm going to burn my favorite reusable tourniquet with my powerful homemade flamethrower. single-use tourniquets. I've got a few examples here. Before we start, no money changed hands between me and manufacturers of these tourniquets. So let's start with this one. Uh, you have to tear it from the roll like this. You put it on the patient's hand. Like this. Now, I tried it on my own hand and I must admit that it's not really nice on the skin. It catches the skin, it, it, it catches the um, hair on the skin. Not really happy with it. Now, the second one you can take from the box is a button tourniquet. You put it on the patient's hand like this. Pull here. And the tourniquet is on. Now. To release it, simply pull, and that's where I have got problem with this. When I have problem with this tourniquet, because this button is sometimes quite loose, and it actually can uh, just fly away. That's how we call them. Um, one day I'll fly away tourniquet. So uh, it's not that bad, but be very, 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 very careful with this button. Now, next one. You pull it from the from the box. Initially, I was really skeptical about this, but I, I must admit that now, when I know how to use it, pull it here. I'm quite happy with it. Again, uh, it, it's not really nice on the skin, but it does the trick. And what's important, if you are dealing with bariatric patients. You can use two tourniquets and just combine them. So you have two tourniquets, you feed the, this bit through the letter box. And here you go, you've got a tourniquet for a bariatric patient. I really, really like this idea. The last one. I want to show you a stretch tourniquet. You put it here, feed it through, and job done. And you know what? From all those tourniquets, this one feels the best on the skin. But you know what I really like about this idea? So the tourniquet or the, the whole box comes with the small pouches. 
So what you can do is after you apply the tourniquet in field, you then put the tourniquet here to the pouch. And you put your patient's name here and the uh, number of uses. So for example, you, have, you can reuse this tourniquet with the same patient a few times. So it's really good because you are not adding the whole bag of rubbish you have with the patient. So like a clinical waste, you just can reuse this tourniquet a few times, up to six times, I think, for the same patient. And that's the idea of single-use reusable tourniquet I really like. So that's five stars for me. Now, last thing, let's test our products. Let's see, can you actually easily use single-use tourniquet in acute setting? Let's say under the car, when you have actually not easy access to your patient, when your patient is under the car, let's say here. I am, okay, I am under the car. Okay, it's on. Not really easy, but doable. Okay, the second one. Let's pay attention to the button. Okay, it is on. Not ideal, to be honest, but yeah. Okay, the last one, my favorite one. Right, good. Okay, it's actually on, good. And now release and take off. Okay, doable. Guys, single-use tourniquets. If I can do it in the middle of nowhere, under the car, you can do it in the patient's house or on A&E. My name is Alex Hepner. This was Group Call.